All right, all. Carl from Studio in Car. And we've just received our uh, Amphion speakers, the first of. So we've got the Argon 3S, uh, the Argon Zero and the Argon One. I've experienced the Zero and the One and they're fantastic. I'm super excited about the 3S and how that's gonna sound. So this will be a relatively quick video just introducing you to the speaker. If you know the speaker um, or if you want a better look around it, then we'll do some, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do some sort of wrap around shots so you get to almost hands on levels with, with detail of the speaker. And then, you know, further down the line, I'll, I'll give you my opinion on the on the 3S. But um, yeah, let's get them unboxed. Oh, it's exciting. It's a working day around here, so you'll probably hear the odd noise, the odd tool, things like that. Uh, lads are getting to grips with the new 3D um, printer that we've got. So we'll be making stuff left, right and centre now. Um, yeah, let's get at it, all right? Time lapse. Now you've seen what was possibly the, the worst unboxing angle of myself. Let's have a closer look at the speakers. I'll put them over by the couch and we'll, uh, we'll get to it. The threes look mighty, don't they? Wicked. So that's them. They're all unboxed. Um, zeros, ones, and three S. Now three S, I haven't got any experience with. I'm looking forward to getting experience with it though, knowing the others. Um, the one is probably the one we have the most experience with, um, and the zero slightly less, but still plenty of experience. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get you close using my other camera, um, but sound-wise. I'll probably do something a little bit more extensive further down the line, but you know by now that you know how much of a fan of, of Dyn Audio speakers I am. With an Amphion speaker, typically ever so slightly leaner bass wise, uh, much larger sort of stage width and much larger sweet spot as well. Um, very similar speakers, but the sonic character is, uh, is quite different, which is why it fits well with ours, this product. So um, we've gone for a custom grill on the, on the zeros. You can customize the um, waveguide. You can customize the grill colors. It's a little thing, but it's very important to me that in my own room and in your own room that you kind of get something that is aesthetically pleasing as well as it is sounding good, you know. So um, yeah, it has to be, has to work in the room. So yeah, price-wise, eight fifty for the zeros, twelve hundred for the ones, two thousand for the three X. Now you can add a hundred pound to each of the zero or the one for the walnut finish. So this would be a thirteen hundred pound speaker as it sits. Um, for the 3S you would add £200 there is twice the surface area so you know consider that as you will uh, but it's a £200 option on these now I ordered ours in black because I like the sort of studio monitor look that they have in this tough sort of black now I will say this is one of those blacks that marks easy you can rub your finger on it and you'll leave a white line on it and then it's a pain in the ass to get it off. So, you know, there is that to consider. The white seems like just powder coat. It seems indestructible. And the walnut is gorgeous. It's an absolutely gorgeous finish. I mean, this finish is flawless. It's just even moving them around, you mark them up a little bit. We've all dealt with that, that sort of black finish. Once they're in place, cleaned off, you've no real need to, to mark them. So, um, few little points that I've that I've 
just picked up on the 3S is coming out. Uh, there's a treble and attenuation switch. You've either got zero, so flat, or plus one dB in case you want a little more extension up top. Um, I don't know, I've not used it in uh, practice, you know, but theoretically, I would assume that's just if you want to liven it up a little bit. Now, these don't suffer from a lack of uh, energy up top, in my opinion. Um, so I'll have to have a, I'll have a listen to them and figure them out. Uh, the binding posts, very sort of pro studio looking binding post. Um, still accepts a bare wire, so you can spin this off. It's got like a like a plastic cylinder that that screws in. I'll I'll get this one out for you, so you can take a closer look. Um, I said I was going to record some of this for you tonight. So the binding posts have like a have like a plastic cylinder if it ever focuses. And you can put a bare wire in there in the bottom. You can just see my finger through that gap there. Uh, or you can put a banana straight through the center. You don't need to take the, uh, the sort of threaded post off. The obvious difference with the 3S is the passive radiator on the back. So we've got um, a 6.5 inch passive radiator with no port, like so on the one and the zero. Now, I can't tell you, I can't explain what it's gonna respond like, how close it needs to be to the wall because I haven't uh, experienced that yet. But usually the issues regarding uh, ports and their distances from the walls are somewhat cured by radiators. Um, the the output I find is slightly less than a good port of design, but a more accurate or sort of faster response. Just personal things. So yeah, I I will today have these on these stands and uh, and running in, and then I've got to put the special forties back in because I'm I'm using that speaker to monitor the Hegel amplifiers that I'm reviewing at the moment. So um, I will have time on these. Um, another note on the zeros and ones, what we found when we very first took them on is the binding post is at the top of the speaker. It's not too much of an issue, but it means if you're running thick cables, they're going to sort of come down from the top of the speaker, which can be, it can be a little tricky at times. So what we were doing was in the binding post themselves, we were using our bananas to go into the hole in the post rather than in the top of the post. Uh, that way you can clamp them down as well, so nice and secure. And then your cables come off and down. You can pass the port or whatever if you like. Um, but yeah, that's on there. It's a nice quality binding post. It's what you would expect on a speaker of that sort of cost. I do like the fact that the ports on all of them are extremely smooth and uh, they're not like a push-in port, which sometimes creates a lip either inside um, or on the outer edge, which will affect the way that that port sounds. Turbulence in a port's extremely important, again, yeah, right? You know, and this just, this is just a, a kind of free-flowing, almost sort of CNC-looking port design with a, uh, you know, an obvious routed uh, round over on the outer edge, and that will be thought about. You know, they 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 seem to have thought about a lot with these speakers. Um, the waveguide works on these speakers you know that they um the, the the sort of huge sweet spot you get with them is is uh well something to behold really it, it is very very good very 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 large sweet spot and not it's nice in there as well it's not you know it's not in your face so um yeah but that's them we're gonna get these on get a load of hours on them we'll probably give you our opinion on them which will be in a few weeks um, and the, these will sit around for a little while and then we'll get some time on them as well so that when people come in to demonstrate them or when they go out for demonstration, um, they, they've got some hours on them. Um, running in times, I'm not too sure at the moment, but like I say, in, in time I'll let you know if it took a specific amount of time to get them up to steam or if they were just good from, you know, off the bat. So, um, yeah. Remember guys, we are a shop, not necessarily a review channel. We do review things to give you uh, opinion of equipment that we have in the shop. So um, if you're interested in buying them, or feel free to buy them from us. So yeah, I think I've covered most things there in terms of unboxing them. 
The packaging was extremely simple, cardboard polystyrene, no messing around, it was out in seconds. Um, and like I say, if I wasn't videoing it, they'd have been playing by now already. So I'm gonna set these up, just put them in, put them in treble zero, plonk them on the stands, get them playing, and, uh, and off we go, all right? But Amphion is here, and it will be here to stay. I know the product works, works extremely well with Hegel, and uh, yeah, onwards from there. Any questions? Give us a shout. There'll be sort of links below um, to info on the products and ways to get hold of ours as well. So um, yeah, take it easy, guys. Have a nice weekend. It's roasting hot today. <laughs>